Apple's Dynamic Island is advertised as a futuristic and very creative way of solving problems, and is apparently taking the world by storm. While the technology does get a ton of praise as a delicate fusion of hardware and software, we couldn't help but notice some issues that come with having a dynamic island. And in our video today, we'll talk about exactly those. So without further ado, let's begin. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. While the vertical island does look promising, take a closer look. Compare it side by side with a modern Android phone. And what exactly do you see? Exactly. The whole point of the dynamic island, according to Apple, was to maximize the screen real estate. But that doesn't seem like the case when you compare, now does it? And yes, Apple did increase the size of their phones from their predecessor, but having that big block on top of your phone not only tampers with your screen real estate, but it's also downright bothersome when you're trying to watch content on a full screen mode. In the space above the dynamic island, we're pretty sure no one uses that. However, the concept is not made to last, since under display, Face ID is coming pretty soon. So we think this might just be some tangible design change Apple had to implement, because you know, the new Apple who this movement. Unless you're a forensic agent working on an FBI case, fingerprints are not supposed to be an enjoyable thing, especially near the cameras in your brand new iPhone. But Dynamic Island apparently left users no other choice, since interacting with the Dynamic Island due to its positioning is a sure shot way to get those smudgy, oily, and unattractive fingerprints to your camera lenses. The interaction is highly intrusive, basically works as a poke magnet, and while it may not damage your camera directly, keep on it and you will see degradation. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? Now, intuitiveness. Since Apple's first idea for the dynamic island was to make everything a bit easier, it couldn't have backfired worse. Go ahead, try reaching the dynamic island with a single hand, the way 99% of people around the world use a phone. See what we mean? This is unintuitiveness in the form of technology, since interacting with the dynamic island while holding on to your phone requires abnormally long fingers, and not everyone has them. Blame Apple or blame God, your call entirely. Now, what do you usually use Dynamic Island for? Ask yourself, whatever you're doing with Dynamic Island, is it something new or just a new way of interacting with an already existing tech? Apart from changing music and tracking live events, Dynamic Island really doesn't bring anything new to the table. Yes, while it does give a new and vibrant facelift to already existing features and brings in a somewhat exciting way to interact with said features, it doesn't really bring anything fresh or revolutionary to the user. Besides, whatever you could do with Dynamic Island doesn't actually require you to have the Dynamic Island, since there are plenty of other ways to do them without clogging your display. And finally, with Apple being so proud and selective about their pure blood heritage and with their incompatibility with third-party applications, it's basically an Apple exclusive. And while switching between music does feel nice with Dynamic Island, the more you think about it, its incompatibility with other third-party apps just limits your functionality. It could have been a useful feature if the integration was better, but so far, the Dynamic Island just hides two unappealing cutouts, which by the way, could have been easily achieved through other means which don't tamper with your overall usability. So after all these discussions, do you find Dynamic Island actually a groundbreaking upgrade? Because clearly we don't. However, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, and we'd love to know yours. Do let us know in the comments section down below, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.